There are concerns over a significant number of children who are being shut out of the education system. The children from overseas are in the country legally, but while overstay children can go to school, they can't. Barbara Drever explains. The Tohi family had little to celebrate this Christmas. While most kids are enjoying the holiday break, these children are desperate to keep learning. But they can't. Their parents, who've been in New Zealand for years, are appealing their legal status and are currently on visitors' permits. They're trying to do the right thing. Ironically, if they'd remained overstayers, the children could go to school. They have a terrible choice between the risk of deportation or their kids getting an education. They're not alone. Immigration lawyer Richard Small has six client families in the same position and believes there are a significant number throughout New Zealand. There's a little underground community of children who are likely to get residents, who have got appeals that we think have strong prospects. And the only thing that will be achieved through this is that they come to residence having missed three years of education. Nate Atohi was a top year 12 scholar at a South Auckland high school, but in March last year she and her siblings were told they couldn't continue. So I had this vision that I wanted to be a paediatrician. <laughs> now it seems like I, I'm not going to reach my goal. The Tohis can go to school if they pay full fees. At more than $10,000 each a year, that's unrealistic. They're being supported by older sister Na'a, a New Zealand resident who sacrificed plans to do a master's in business. Working like part-time, even if you have to count down, just to support, try and put food on the table, support these kids. The Ministry of Education is continuing to monitor its policy on children not eligible for a publicly funded education. It is about to make several changes, but this will only benefit those who are here unlawfully. Families like the Tohis will continue to be shut out, even though their children are hungry for learning. Barbara Drever, One News.